Okay, here we are. I am going to show you guys why you need to clock these Suzu Rodeo heads. So you can't just put it to the middle and line up your timing marks and call it good. You can't do that with these engines. They work on a very different system. They're not two to one like you would find on a regular small block where, you know, the cam will spin slower than the crank does at a two to one ratio. These are like a three to one ratio. So that's why you can go around nine times before they get back to the thing. Let's have a look. And let's just show what I'm talking about here because that'll clear things up. Okay, so here we got our cylinder head again, right? As we can see at the moment, all the valves are shut tight, okay? When you come here, the head's upside down, so our timing mark is straight down at the moment, and that's where it clocked. It snapped to that position at the moment. So this is where we are. So I'm gonna rotate this one all the way around. Halfway. Okay, so now, I don't know if it'll stay. Okay, so now we've gone around one time. Now let's look at the valves. We can see the exhaust valve now is coming up on these ones. This one is flat and the intake valves are open on cylinder three at the moment. Okay, so that's one rotation. Now let's do rotation number two. Go around. Okay, there, we're back to bottom. Now let's have a look at this head. Now, cylinder one's shut tight. Cylinder two has the, the uh, intakes open really wide now, and then three has the exhausts open really wide now. Okay, let's do another rotation and see what happens. So oh, we're back there. Let's see, wanted to go right past there. So I'm gonna have to hold it, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold it. Let's get a look at the valves. So there, it's held down. I have to hold it in position. But now when we look, look. Cylinder one has the intake valves cracked open slightly. Cylinder two has the exhaust valves open more. And cylinder three is shut. So let's go around again and see where we are. Another snap. Okay, and now we're back to where it's snapped straight down. And now let's look again. All valves are shut again. So what is that telling us? So what that telling us is exactly that. It works on a three to one ratio instead of a two to one like you would find in a normal engines and domestic things. You have to clock those heads because if you just turn that line and you just line it up and it's not proper, you could have valves open all over that you don't want open. And that's why it's super important to do that. So. I just wanted to give that visual demonstration and uh, I hope that helps all you guys out and answers a whole bunch of questions for you.